Okay, so this is a fully loaded build of RetroPie, and uh, as you can see, 6,199 games available, including PS2, including GameCube. I'll go through some of them in a minute. Uh, it was from Arcade Punks, so you can see here it's put together by PyFunk. And if we scroll down through, it mentions here that it's using Supreme RetroPie. And if we go to their Facebook group, you can request to try out their latest build. You have to send them a personal message. It's in one of the comments here. So this comment from the 7th of February, we've decided to release Supreme Pi 5 1.4.2 today, but we're doing it differently this time. To get a download link, you must direct message this account to get a download link. This is to prevent this link being shared outside the group. Uh, and another tip is they say to use 7-zip, people reporting that it's broken or corrupt, so use 7-zip to unzip that image. I used p-zip to unzip this build, this Functusy build, and it worked absolutely fine on my Raspberry Pi 5, but it does take a long time. So anyway, let's have a look at the games. Now it does have background music on all the menus. I've had to turn it off because of copyright strike. Uh, it started off with MC Hammer and Rapper's Delight and all sorts of things, so really, really good. And uh, it plays that in the background while you're looking at some of the games. So if we skip through, so Arcade, uh, let's click on that and you can see uh, and you can hear the games and if we flick down through you get the box art of the game and also you can see a little video of the game so you know exactly what you're going to be playing uh, and you can skip down through and it does seem to be very complete uh, everything seems to have artwork and everything all named properly really really nice and you can also press X to get a random game, which I really like. Uh, and I'll often do this where I'll just boot up a, a build like this. I've had old builds on Pi 4 uh, and just press the random when I see a game that I think, oh yeah, I wanna try that. Then uh, I'll just click on it and it will boot the game. And you can see light gun games on there. I haven't set it up with my Mayflash Dolphin, but I've got a separate video on RetroPie and light guns that, that work really, really well on all sorts of systems. So let's go back from that and change systems. So Sega Naomi, let's click on that. And again, we can just flick through and we can see this looks cool, Asian Dynamite. And I just really like this option. I've seen this before. I think I might have played this before, Cannon Spike. Well, let's go into it anyway and see what happened. So I haven't done anything but set up the controller. So I haven't done any configuration at all. Literally just downloaded it, unzipped it, wrote it to a 512 USB stick, and then configured my Xbox controller. Okay, so graphics look decent. Uh, it uses the digital pad, not the... Um, not the analog pad, and it's very responsive. Yeah, it's not struggling with that at all. It's not a game I really know, but obviously it's pretty self-explanatory. Kill everything on the screen and pick up the flashing bits. Yeah, that is absolutely, f oh, you can't go out of there. Maybe you have to finish off that, that menu. I'm not sure what the other, oh, that, that does something as well, look. Uh, and we've got some sort of laser sight. Yeah, that is cool. I will probably come back to that. Right, so quit out by select, start, and the Xbox button. And let's just flick through a few more. Lots of fighting games on here. Uh, and some shooting games. What's this? Cosmic Smash. Yeah, we'll give that a try. Oh yeah, so it's got a sort of table tennis vibe to it. I wonder if I direct it. Okay. It's got a sort of VR feel to it. Yeah, and it looks like you can tell it where to hit the ball, because uh, obviously you're trying it up. I like the way it serves. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. And it, you can see it's working absolutely fine. The sound is perfect. It's definitely not slow. Right, let's quit out of that and flick through a few more of the games that are on here. Yeah, loads and loads of 2D fighting games. Oh, this looks cool. So it's more a 2D game, but it looks really 3D at the start. 
More fighting. More fighting. Lots and lots of fighting. What's this? Bit more 3D. Okay, looks like it might take a bit of learning. Oh, Monkey Ball looks quite cool. I remember playing that on, I think, Game Boy Advance. That was quite a good version of that. Power Stone looks decent. Power Stone 2. Oh, let's give let's give one of these fighters because uh, if you're into 2D fighting games, or oh, I suppose that was 3D that one. Okay, so three against three. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, maybe I haven't got the buttons yet. What are the buttons? Oh, okay. A definitely does something. As with fighting games, it kind of pays to know all the controls, but. Yeah, it definitely feels nice and fast, feels very arcadey. Oh, this is good. Can you, you can't sidestep like Tekken. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's definitely fine. Right, let's skip out of that. And as you can see, there's several more on here as well. But let's go back from that and try a different system. So Sega Naomi 2. 10 games on this, that volleyball looks decent. Might come back to that. Club cart, that looks nice as well. Be interesting to see if that runs at full speed. Yeah, some nice, nice games on this. Crazy truck game. Virtua Fighter 4. So let's try Club Cart, I think said reset steering hopefully it doesn't need a steering wheel okay so right two for accelerate oh and it's analog controls this time yeah that feels nice gonna have to get used to the drift controls oh it looks like there's some slow stragglers yeah this is great oh, i'd love to try this with the steering wheel in the arcade Yeah, it doesn't feel laggy, feels nice and responsive. Obviously, I'm way beyond the track. Oh. Right, let's try another system. But that does look really good. So, what have we got? Neo Geo. Obviously, won't have any trouble playing Neo Geo games. You can see as you go back in the ages, things start to look a lot softer. But a nice load of choice in there. Certainly some variety. Oh, that's cool. So let's try, uh, well, you can see how many there are here. Absolutely loads of them. Let's go back. 140 games. Uh, so Nintendo family computer. Looking lovely and crisp. And again, artwork, description, box art, you know, everything seems to be all intact. Really nicely put together. And again, it's not gonna struggle with these older systems. I'll concentrate on most of the newer systems just to show that it works. So NES, and again, Really complete. Oh, a bit, I got to try a bit. Seven twenty. Yeah, I mean, obviously it was going to work fine. Can we? What's jump? That's jump. Can we jump that water? Oh, oh, come on. Let's go for it. No, we definitely can't jump that unless there's some speed up thing. Right, let's try something else. But yeah, NES. Uh, a load of games and you can see you can flick through it so quick the videos load up so quick it's a real pleasure to use one thing I have noticed is uh, if you have a look at the bottom of the screen where it says Y for favorites X for random B for back and A for launch they're all reversed so A is B and X is Y and I've set it up with the standard configure input settings for my Xbox controller 
and the buttons are correct for the games. It's just, well, I guess it's just the theme and what it says for the buttons. I think Recall Box and Batacera use it the opposite way around. And I, I actually prefer A to select a game, but obviously I want all the games to be configured exactly as they should be uh, with the controller. So let's go back and back with, so A for back. Uh, so NES 781 games. NES Hacks and Homebrew. You can get some really cool things in here where games uh, have basically been adapted uh, or they're sort of, you know, homebrew games, so, so not official releases, or the game characters can be different. There's, there's some good things with some fighting games and things where different characters are in there. But you can see there's loads here. And then we've got uh, Super Nintendo. So obviously the graphics are starting to look quite a bit better. A little bit of 3D as well in some cases. Again, no problem on a Pi. I mean, we've been able to play snares on uh, very early Pies. That boxing game looks cool. Looks nice as well. I didn't see how many, what was it, 228 games. Uh, oh, so Super Famicom and SNES. So SNES, 784 games. Wow. And again, everything seems to have all the information, all the box art, all the videos play instantly. The sound is perfect. It's a really, really nice experience, especially in something like an arcade cabinet, uh, because you can, I haven't touched the keyboard, I've only used a controller. So again, snares, hacks, and homebrews. So we've got some variations of Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Country. Dr. Mario World redrawn. Fall Guys World. International Superstar Soccer Deluxe. Sometimes they put in uh, real player names and also put in updated player names. I've got a Pro Evolution Soccer for PlayStation 2, uh, I think it is, that gives much more updated player names and teams and so on. Lots of baseball. All the Marios. Loads of Marios. So if you like your Marios, you're not gonna be disappointed. Metroid in there as well, Network Q, REC Rally. You're better off to go for later systems for some of the driving games if they're gonna try and use this perspective, unless it's top-down, top-down works well. And obviously Mario Kart is great. So, BU MSU One Chip. This looks pretty decent. Beavis and Butthead. Yeah, nice. And how many did we have on there? 28 games on that. Nintendo 64, 269 N64 games. Be worth trying N64, because some things definitely struggle on N64. Air Border 64. Go on then, let's give that a try. Again, no problem, everything seems to be booting fine. I definitely find with some N64's uh, games with emulation that they struggle. But this isn't a game I've tried before, but it's always nice to try something new. Okay, what's, oh okay. So X is accelerate. We do something in the air. <laughs> what's going on there? Right, let's try and, I guess we go down here. Well, I guess you'll judge if you know the game if that's full speed. It seems like it probably is. It's a bit weird with the control system. Am I using trigger? Oh, okay. So that trigger sets me off. Okay. Yeah, a little different. 
There's no Tony Hawks, but still pretty good. Oh, and I've had my first game I can't quit out of with the controller. So normally I would go select start and Xbox button, but that's not quitting me out. So I'm going to press escape on the keyboard. Let's try something that often doesn't work well, and that is, um, oh, what's it called? Extreme, Excite Bike. So this, oh, so Excite Bike's not on there. Destruction Derby is uh, one that also struggles sometimes, depending on the emulator. So the intro sound was fine, uh, and it sometimes if you, if it's going to be wrong, the intro is a bit garbled, is a bit slower. Uh, yeah, that sounds alright as well. Could be hopeful. Don't know what key is accelerate. Oh, and it's analog stick. Hey, that feels alright. It's when you come. It's oh, it's one of the uh, bits when the sun or the lens flare comes up on the screen that it struggles with, and also with car, more cars on the screen. Yeah, it's not struggling. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's fine. It's not It's not affected the gameplay. Excellent, right, so how do I quit out of that? So select start and home doesn't work. Yeah, escape on my keyboard uh, quits me out. So let's just flick through a few more of the games just to show, or no. Well, we've got two dinosaur planets, but only one with the video. But it is, yeah, it's it's such it's so well done. Because any time I do my own builds of RetroPie, I never really bother to do all the videos and things. But it is really nice uh, to just sort of take a trip back and also just explore and find new games that you've never tried before. Yeah, really, really good. What was it, 700? No, 269 games on N64. That was SNES, that was 700, wasn't it? Uh, so, Nintendo GameCube. So this would be a more recent system. I really like GameCube. Hopefully Dave Mirror Freestyle BMX is on here. But there haven't been many Tony Hawks or Dave Mirrors. No, it's not on there. Uh, but let's see what we can play on this. So, Simpsons Road Rage, I think, was shown in another video. So let's try something that maybe hasn't been shown. I don't know, Resident Evil is... Yeah, I better not show Resident Evil. I like a football game, let's try a bit of that, red card. Okay, again, I haven't had to configure anything, it's just booted straight into it. Okay, A and B is reversed on this, which does happen with GameCube uh, on some of the emulators. But you can configure that. I've definitely done it before in the past, because uh, I'm so used to playing Dave Mirror, um, but obviously this, this is a game I've not played before, so it doesn't really matter for this, because I'm not used to the controls. Yeah, that where well, you can see that that's running nicely. Trigger is is run, and that's working. Oh, we can't get a goal already, can we? Oh, I like the um, collision. Will it live up to the name of red card? I don't know how to switch players. Oh, there you go. A is switch players, but it would probably normally be B. Nice little slide tackle. Yeah, this is cool, actually. I like the arcadey feel to it. And this is... Oh, look at the tricks. And uh, triangle is a huge boot up the, the uh, pitch. Yeah, this is all right, actually. Oh, <laughs> oh, you can jump. How do you do it? Different players seem to have different. Go on. Oh. Okay, that's pretty good. I might try that again at some time. Maybe on my TV on a nice big screen. Okay, so let's quit out of that. So. That does quit out with select, start, and Xbox button. And was there any other driving games on there? To give it a bit of a test. <laughs> kind of a driving game. Um, Batman looks alright. Oh, and another Batman. Real retro Batman. Wrestling. Mario Party. They're, they're quite cool. More baseball. Well, that looks cool as well. Mystic Heroes. But not, certainly not a lot of um, 
driving games apart from Simpsons. But apparently that runs really well. I think it said it in the Arcade Punks right up of this build. So let's go back from that and go to Sony PlayStation. So it won't have any trouble with Sony PlayStation. A brilliant system and some really, really good games on it. I guess we try uh, maybe something with a bit of driving. But again, loads of games, another destruction derby. That was one of the launch games. I remember just being amazed at how good that looked. Driver always looks cool for a PlayStation game. Obviously Gran Turismo, amazing. The early top-down Grand Theft Autos. Pro Evolution Soccer, really, really nice football games. Mega Man, Metal Gear Solid was brilliant. Need for Speed, Need for Speed 3. Need for Speed 3 looks quite nice graphics from that. Although you wonder in the video, sometimes they've upped the resolution. Yeah, you can see it's nowhere near as crisp as that video. Obviously it was in a smaller window, um, but I would imagine they put a filter on that. Uh, that video's got a filter on it. Because you can make PlayStation look really good at higher resolutions. That seems to be fine. That control's nice on it. Nice slight, oh, that was so close. Yeah, feels good. Feels a little bit like uh, Porsche Challenge, which was a really good PlayStation game. I remember playing two-player games with a mate on that, and we got to a point where we were so close. He was better than me, but quite often it would be so close on a race, we'd be like neck and neck. And it was whoever made that one mistake. But yeah, that's nice. Happy with that? Right, does that quit out all right? Yes, it does. Yeah, that looks way better, doesn't it? That hockey looks nice. Well, it's nice as well. That definitely doesn't look like a PlayStation 1 game. That does. More Resident Evil. Ridge Racer was so lovely and fast at the time. Ridge Racer 4. Yeah, nice variety on there. There's all sorts of games. Twisted Metal 2 was decent. So what was that? 122 games on PlayStation. Uh, and there are loads more games than that. But obviously... It's a huge build. Uh, there's only so much you can fit in there, but you can also add to this as well. Uh, so PlayStation 2, this is the one that is, I guess everybody's looking for because this is the hardest to emulate on Pi 5. Well, Xbox, original Xbox is, is terrible. Uh, so I thought I'd try Bully because I haven't tried this game, but it's Rockstar and I know it's had decent reviews. Now, PlayStation 2 is definitely hit and miss on the Pi 5. I've got loads of videos on it with lots of configuration. So it's taking you into the desktop environment to do this. But it still carries on, so I haven't touched the keyboard or anything. But I'm guessing for any configuration, you probably are going to need to use the keyboard. But let's see if we can get away without having to configure anything. These screens look nice and crisp. So you can definitely make PS2 look good or bad on Pi 5 just by picking you know, a game that runs terribly or a game that runs really well. And sometimes changing the renderer makes the difference, but I'm not sure if it will work with uh, the F9 button to switch between renderers. But let's see what... Yeah, that looks alright. Oh, alright. I've, I've literally just started. Sorry, I don't know that. And Alexa's getting involved. Right, so, yeah, let's, let's not have a fight straight away. Yeah, this looks like it's working all right, though. Right, there's three people. <laughs> and they run faster than me as well. Although, yeah, you can keep going. This guy will help me, look. See how I mean? <laughs> right, let's get one on his own. Yeah, come on, then. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, I better not keep going. I don't want to kill someone on the first day of school. That's cool. I would definitely be revisiting this. Right, so, first PlayStation 2 game, excellent. And it's one I haven't tried before in any of my other videos. So, really happy with that. Right, so, start, select, and Xbox button. Okay, so, I guess if I do close game, let's go back to the menu. Okay, we, all, we have all the save states in here as well, so I'll go without saving. And how do I quit out of this? So, exit. Okay, so again, I'm still using only the controller at this point. Uh, what else do I want to try? That looks cool. Devil May Cry. Dragon Sisters. Fatal Frame. Fatal Frame 2. Bit of wrestling. God, how bad that looks after the other one. Uh, after watching Bully. Uh, I know Grand Theft Auto works well. San Andreas and Vice City are pretty good. Uh, on uh, PS2 on Pi 5. Knight Rider. Oh, I just love that music. So we've got Knight Rider 2. Knight Rider 2 le definitely looks way better. Bit of Tomb Raider. On oh, Manhunt as well, yeah. He Man. Obscure, Pro Evolution Soccer, which does work well on the PS2 on Pi 5. Let's give that a try. Okay, so X is the right button, so it's configured correctly for this. So the sound is fine, a little quiet, but fine. Feels fine. That's good to see. What am I doing now? Rotate the right analog stick. Yeah, I would say that works fine. That feels perfectly playable. Oh, that's great to see. So that's two games out of two that seem absolutely fine to play, not laggy at all. Have we got anything? Yeah, a bit of driving with Spy Hunter might be worth trying. Might go back to that. No Tony Hawks, no Dave Mirror. What's that? The Guy game. <laughs> King of Fighters. I think a lot of the um, fighting games have been shown in other videos. It's not really games that I play much. Auto Model Easter, I've tried before and I think it worked all right. I'm going to try that Spy Hunter game, because I remember the original arcade one. Which one? Mm. Let's go for number two. Right, how's this going to run? Oh nice, yeah, feels really responsive. Okay. Just dab the brakes there. Yeah, that also feels lovely and fast. Watch my gun. Oh, what was that behind? Like dropping a mine or something. That's This is actually nice. Not a game I've tried before. And the handling feels nice. <laughs> this is great. This feels a bit like Cars 2, I think it was, uh, on Xbox. Really good multiplayer game, really good um, where you can use uh, four player split screen and stuff. Oh, it's a bit weird around here. Don't know what the fences are all about. That's R1, that's working fine. I do like these mines. How many mines have I got? Oh. Yeah, that's that's work that well it seems to be working absolutely fine. That's nice and responsive. Sound is perfect. Yeah, very good. Let's double tap that button. Ooh. Okay, so PlayStation 2, very impressive. 
and you can see you've got lots of controls but I, I haven't needed to change any of this but uh, things like settings and changing the graphics may be something you might need for some PlayStation 2 games or the F9 button in the standalone emulator that I installed was toggling between OpenGL and software. Vulkan doesn't seem to work uh, on PS2 on Pi 5 unless they've managed to get it to work in this build. We've got Sony PSP. PSP just works brilliantly on everything. It, it is an amazing emulator and uh, yeah, on ARM devices, just great. And you can generally up the resolution to get better results, so it's nice. The only thing about PSP is it doesn't have a second analog stick, which is the only thing that really holds some of the games back. I mean, it only affects some games, but um, but yeah, it's a great system, and, and as a handheld system, it's brilliant. And Vice City, I play all the time on PSP. But you can see a load of games on there. I wonder if they've done, because uh, there's Homebrew as well, there's a Metal Gear Solid, like. Right? 3DO Interactive, 37 games. It's a nice looking version of Cannon Fodder, uh, although with the controller it's not as nice. It's nice with, with a mouse, but yeah, that looks decent. Captain Quasar, again, older system, shouldn't have any trouble emulating these. Oh, a light gun game. Look at Drug Wars, look. This was the when we had full motion video in games and they, they definitely overused it and it didn't usually help games. Look at this one. Oda. Oda, without a U? Is that how you spell it? In the States. We put a U in it in the UK. Uh, FIFA. <laughs> oh dear. Bows of Alley. Gex, jam it, killing time. Again, everything's complete. Everything is it's just a really nice experience to be able to flick through and see so many games. That looks cool, doesn't it? Again, full motion video, so it won't be the actual game. But it definitely, you can imagine it on a TV advert at the time, looking like the best game ever. Okay, so what else have we got? SNK, Neo Geo CD. Okay, so again, it won't, it won't struggle with these games. Oh, there's not very many on there. Uh, nine games, 257 Master System. Again, no worries. Uh, very, very easy to emulate. But some real nice games in there. Uh, and then we have Sega Genesis. What was that? 759 games. Oh, Action 52. So that looks like Gravity Power on the Amiga. Oh, I've just found a game that I need to try. I guess this is a homebrew game, is it? Or is it an, an official release? Oh, hold on. Oh, it's a multi-game cartridge. And you, yeah, you generally found... Well, let's try that again. Ah, here we go. Yeah, I didn't really look at this. Star Jewel, do you reckon that's the one? Of course, you don't get... It doesn't show you what it is. Maybe it's Star Jewel. Oh, <laughs> this, it could be one of 50 games. Right. I'm going to go with Star Jewel. Level one. Okay. Oh, yeah, it is that. It is the game. And is it a bit, it's a bit like Gravity. It might not be the game, actually. <laughs> okay. Level two. Do I get... No, there's nothing else there. But it's a variation on that game. And actually, as two-player games, that'll be quite fun. Trust me. Right, so let's try something else. Sega 32X, 32 games. Started to look a little bit better. A lot of shoot-em-ups. Again, super easy to run. 
What was that? FIFA 96. Mega Drive Japan. So there must be some exclusives that the rest of the world didn't get, maybe. Nice. Duke Nukem. Well, that looks rough, though, doesn't it? Uh, Genesis Hacks and Homebrew. Again, some really good ones on this. Batman Forever, Beer League, Hockey, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, Sega CD. That's a nice intro. <laughs> Batman, Android Assault. Yeah, won't, won't struggle with any of those, I'm sure. Sega Saturn can be a bit funny on emulation, although I've had quite good results with it on the Pi 5 so far. Again, lots of fighting games, which I'm not... I don't play loads of fighting games. I used to play Tekken a lot years ago. <laughs> oh, let's go. Die Hard Arcade, and that... Oh no, I thought it was going to be a shooting game, but it's not. Let's give that a go. <laughs> I like the way he nearly falls over the ledge. Oh. oh, the controls aren't great. And digital stick seems to work better than the analog stick. Yeah, but that seems to be working all right. And it's... I think it's some of the 2D games that, that sometimes struggle, though. Yeah, it's not as good as Dynamite Cop, I would say, but it's still pretty decent. And loads more in there, some driving games, Fighters Megamix. What's that? Frankenstein Through the Eyes of the Monster. Little point and click adventure. Golden Axe was great. Oh, that's the jewel, so that's not the, the standard one. We'll try a bit of super bike, see how well that runs. Ah, oh, what's accelerate? Can I get on the bike? There we go, that's better. That feels alright. It's definitely responsive with the controller. I seem to have got off to a very bad start. Oh, the draw distance is terrible, isn't it? When you think of how good games are now with draw distance, where you can see miles ahead. Have we got a... Isn't there a wheelie button here somewhere? No, that's probably brake. Oh. Yeah, but that, se that seems to be working all right. Oh, crikey. You don't want to play this in VR. So Dreamcast, not that tricky to emulate, actually. Uh, it works really well, even on Pi 4. Uh, a lot of games work well. And I played that on Pi 4, 18-wheeler. That four-wheel thunder looks quite good fun. Let's give a go. Not a Dave Mirror or a Tony Hawk's inside so far. It could be on Dreamcast, although it can. Dave Mirror can run too fast on Dreamcast on some systems. Oh, it's actually quite quick. Some weird physics, but, uh, but I would still say it's pretty fun to play. The music's loud. Oh, that wasn't the track. Are we going outside? Or just out and then back in the arena? Let's have some jumps. <laughs> yeah, that's working all right. And again, all the videos. Oh, Aqua GT looks decent as well. Arcade Racing Legends. Come on, Dave Mirror. No, no Dave Mirror. And Stuart Newcomb's in there though, although with the controller it's not as good as a mouse. Although, you know, I play Fortnite with a, a gamepad, but I just, some of the old shooters I really don't get on with without mouse and keyboard. Half Life is on there as well. House of the Dead is excellent, so light gun games again. 
Jet grind is good. Come on, Tony Hawks, let's have a look. It was one of the big games on Dreamcast, I'm sure. Revolt was decent as well. There's a lot of Dreamcast games. Tony Hawks, there we go. So Pro Skater 2. Oh yeah, it looks lovely. No problem at all. And let's see, we got some nice, oh is it? I thought it was, oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, happy with that. Oh, not happy with that. Yeah, excellent. UA for Dream Soccer. Virtua Fighters are on there. Wacky Races. That looks nice. <laughs> and what else we got? NEC Home Electronics. So, some proper retro. Look at that. Uh, PC Engine. Again, it's not going to struggle with any of those. And what was it? 71 games. And then I think that's it. Yeah, all my games are okay. So if we go to ports, you can see here we've got Chromium Web Browser. We've got Cloud Gaming, although I don't know what system it works on on Cloud Gaming. Firefox Web Browser and also the desktop. And they're using my favourite Linux desktop environment, KDE Plasma. But let's just try the Cloud Gaming and see what it what it says it's set up for. Alt and F4 for fast quit. Oh wow, it just takes you to the Xbox Cloud Gaming, which I'm not signed in, although I have got uh, Xbox Ultimate at the moment. But that's all going to depend on your uh, on your bandwidth. But yeah, that's great. So Xbox Cloud Gaming is integrated as well. So what was it? Alt F4 was to quit out of that. And then let's just see what it does when you go to the desktop. So it launches the desktop as if it's a game. And there's all sorts of themes in RetroPie. So you can choose different themes if you want to. But, you know, the theme looks pretty decent. And I tend to find with these full builds, I tend not to mess with them. I tend to kind of leave them as they are. But then I have got it downloaded, so I guess if I mess it up, I can always flash it again. Well, it does take ages to unzip, and it takes ages to write. Oh, nice, nice background. So if we press the Windows key, we get all the startup applications. So you can see all sorts of browsers and things in there. That one's in there as well, but I won't mention it. All sorts of things in here. Look, PyKiss is in there. So if you want to go back from the desktop environment into RetroPie, uh, basically, just hit the start button and log out, and then OK, and that takes you back in. So, if we go back from here, there is an options section in here. This has got the music player in it, which I had to stop the music from playing because I didn't want any copyright strikes. Uh, also, we've got controller tools, emulation tools, we've got the normal Raspberry config and RetroPie setup. Uh, but we also have Fix My Build, Fix All Your Broken Supreme Build Features, Update, Maintenance Tools and many more. This tool will also let you fix your RetroPie menu after an update. So great work by everybody at Supreme, great work by PyFunk. It is a really good build and, uh, it, and just works really well. And the PS2 works way better than I expected it to. But obviously it may depend on what games you're playing. I might have been lucky. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.